Part 1. White Clouds. Guardian Moon. Where the Goddess Dwells. Long ago, the Guardian Seros made an appearance during this moon. She had been summoned by the Goddess, whose soul was suffering as the flames of war raged across Fodlan. Some believe that high in the sky above Seros, the Immaculate Ones, mighty wings are what powered the strong winds carrying the Guardian and her forces into battle. You're here again. Professor, you've been crying. So, even you cry sometimes. Oh, I suppose that was thoughtless of me to say. It's fine. My teacher, you're so blinded by grief that you can't see what's going on right in front of you. Are you waiting for time to heal your wounds? Or have you curled up in a corner and lost the will to carry on? Uh, does it matter? It does. You've lost yourself. Only you can truly understand your own sadness. Others can sympathize or even empathize, but all anyone else can offer are the tears of an outsider looking in. So I have no intention of crying for you or of standing still with you. All I can do is promise to reach out my hand when the time comes for me to move forward. What do you mean? The mysterious organization that was carrying out experiments in Remire Village and the chapel, they're up to something near Garrig Mach. The Archbishop has sent the Knights to undertake a large-scale investigation. No information has surfaced yet, but our enemies will soon be discovered. When they are, will you lead us into battle? Or will you just sit here, with no thought for the future that is fast approaching? My teacher, there is a choice to be made. I hope you make the right one. My, my. She really is quite arrogant. She spoke her mind without an ounce of reservation. But she is right. The time has come to stand again. You know already what your answer is. Oh, thank you. You saved me. If you were to die, then the mystery of our bodies would be revealed. Preventing that was my only aim. I'm afraid you must remain, Kronya. There is something I need you to do. Oh, of course. I am always happy to cooperate with Solon. Leave it to me. How annoying. Flame Emperor, is she offending you? Unfortunately, we cannot take our eyes off her, so there is nothing to be done. You are our greatest creation. We use the defiled beast's blood as the fuel to your flame, that you may burn even the gods. Now is the time to cleanse Fodlin with that power and bring forth our salvation. There will be no salvation for you and your kind. Those responsible for such gruesome deeds in Dusker and Enmar. All so that you may acquire the strength you need. All for a purpose. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the continuation episode slash video of my Fire Emblem Three Houses Let's Play. So, I'm sure you noticed in the previous video on this LP, Gerald, aka Dad, has passed away. So, if you mind fellow viewers, press F in the comment section. May Gerald not be forgotten. And all we can do forward or rather, just like Edelgard said earlier, all we can do is move on. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and explore in today's month.
If you must weep, then weep. I shall be here for you. Thank you. Well, it would be ridiculous to not feel anything after something like that. Go on and let it out. I am here. Thank you, Sotis. I really appreciate it. Let's see what these two items are. Pinker C, what is this? Owl flower. Neat. Uh, I think for a change of pace, let's go see what's up in the abyss really quick. So I'll see you in a second. Alright, let's talk to the abyss keeper here, who is not fully loaded into the game. Now he is. Hey you, listen up. I've got something to report. But maybe now isn't the time? You seem down. Got something on your mind? I hope you know I'm here for you, if you ever have your own stuff to report. That's what friends are for. Unless it's about money, in which case, I'm busy. <laughs> well, either way, pal. Thanks for your concern. Let's go see what's going on here in the abyss. Okay. This month feels different, doesn't it? Garrick mocks all tense, like the whole place might explode. This is why I've kept to myself all these years. I don't want to be anywhere near whatever's about to happen. Explode? What are you getting at? Anyways, let's go feed the cats. Oh, thanks, kitty, for the smithing stone. And you're welcome for the fish. Uh, what's going on here? Nothing important, it would seem. What about back here? Let's check out the Shadow Library. What? Captain Gerald's been killed? I can't believe it. From all I'd heard about the man, I thought he was indestructible. He was so strong. What could have possibly... Uh, forgive me. I shouldn't speculate. Yeah, Dad was indeed formidable. What's that? Alright, let's see who else I need to talk down here. Anybody over here at the shrine? There's Happy. Hey, it seems like you're having a hard time. Not that I can really understand what you're going through. I know that this is painful, but don't lose hope for the future, okay? Someday you'll be able to accept what's happened. And in the meantime, you have plenty of friends here to support you. Me included. Thanks, Happy. Uh, where are the other three? Let's go check out what they're doing. Maybe Yuri's in his office here. Yep. Frank. Gerald raised you, yeah? It was all you had. You must be feeling a lot right now. When a parent dies, it really leaves a mark. So feel what you need to, no matter how that looks. But know that your inner fire will keep you moving ahead through even the hardest times. Hmm. Anyways, thanks, Yuri. Good to know that the people down here in Abyss cares. Uh, uh that's the bulletin board. Who's this? Ooh, Baltus and Constance is right here. Hey, pal. I see you're up and at him again, yeah? Good on you. No use crying over the past and all. Balthus, have some sensitivity. Who knows what the poor deer is going through right now? That poor deer can hear you, you know. Talking about someone like they're not there. How cold can you get? Uh, a fair point. Please, Professor, forgive my indiscretion. You have my condolences. Remember, the first step to healing is a hefty dose of revenge. Get out there and get to it. That's the plan, Balthus. That's the plan. Anyways, you two. Thanks for the support. I'm gonna go ahead and check out what's down here at the scrap heap before I head back up to the monastery. Uh, oh, it's this way. Whoops. Well, here you go. Iron sword. A broken iron bow. Ah! It could have been better. Oh well. 
Anybody else need to talk to here? Doesn't seem so. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you in a minute. I'm gonna head back up. And you're gonna be hearing this sad emotional music in today's video. Oh! Hey, what's up, Saltus? Oh! Is something hiding just behind that book? Small leather bag. That ring! I, I have seen it before. Ah, I know. Gerald showed that ring to you beside a grave. Do you recall? He said he wished for you to have that ring one day. That means it's yours. He also said that you should gift that ring to someone special. Ah, right. That's someone special. Speaking of which, let's go, let's go check out his bookcase here. Oh, encyclopedia dedicated to every type of fish in Fulden. It's all wall of the various habitats. Is this a product of a collaboration between countless fishermen and monastery students? Who compelled or compiled a through collection of studies regarding of the habits of fish, advanced fishing methods of even recipes. The level of detail is staggering. Thanks for the professor level XP, Dad. Also thanks you as well, Sultis, for being here. Go check out what the... Hey, don't close the door on me over there. We'll see what Lady Rhea has to say today. Excuse me. Professor, how are you holding up? I know how heavily grief weighs upon one's heart. I lost my mother some time ago. It was... Forgive me my moment of weakness. Even all these years later, I cannot recall that time without feeling the pain as if it were brand new. Just know that I am praying for your mind and your heart to find peace. I really appreciate it, Lady Rhea. Uh, yeah, we'll do the professor activities. Or I'll do the professor activities, rather, off screen. For now, let's just talk to everybody who's available. Mostly the staff and the Black Eagles house students. First Tomas, and now Monica. I do have a theory, though I admit it is nothing more than speculation. Both Tomas and Monica have each gone missing at one time or another. It was reported that when Monica returned from her disappearance, she began to act like a completely different person. As if, perhaps, the real Monica had been killed and replaced by an imposter. Thinking of it like that, it is possible that this Solon had been impersonating Tomas for some time. How they managed such a convincing change of appearance, though, I still do not understand. Yikes, dude. I mean, surely enough, both Tomas and Monica were quite sus characters. Well, I think mostly pinned on Monica. Tomas, on the other hand, was kind of just a gentle old librarian at the start, but who would have thought? Anyways. You've lost someone very dear to you. I'm so... You have my sympathy. Manuela and I can take on some of your workload this month. We can't do all the teaching, but at least we can lighten the load for you. I've always seen strength in your eyes. I know you'll recover. You're a very strong person. Yes. I agree. I did stay strong indeed. Thank you, Professor Hinman. Let's go check on Manuela here. I have something rather uncomfortable to discuss. It's about the weapon that killed Gerald. Will you listen? I'll listen. It was a dagger, but I know enough to know it wasn't an ordinary dagger. It wasn't made of iron or steel because, well, because whatever it was, the wound it left wasn't normal. Who could make a blade like that, do you figure? Hmm, some sort of unique poison dagger, possibly? 
He has something else to say. I wonder who they were. Oh, okay, I guess that was it. Alright. I hope you investigate that even further, Manuela. Let's go see what this is. Clean dusting cloth. I wonder who that belongs to. Uh, sure, let's go head over to the library really quick. Someone over there that I can interact with. Hmm. Monica Von Ox. There is nothing suspicious in her past that would suggest this change of character. Her transformation must have something to do with her disappearance last year. Sadly, that is the extent of my knowledge. I wonder who kidnapped her and why. First Tomas, and now Monica. I am so sorry. The failing was clearly our own. We didn't notice the enemy's invasion. And now Gerald. I... I apologize. There is nothing I can say to atone for our sins. Professor, please do not let your guard down even among the people of the monastery. There is no way to know where another enemy may be hiding. Thanks for the warning. And plus, there was nothing you could have done. Even if... Anyways, Encyclopedia of Folden's Plants. An encyclopedia dedicated to the, every type of plant growing on Folden, as well as various locations as they are, can be found. The information and detailed renderings within the compiled by the church and is considered the unrivaled resource for plants, cultivation, exchanges, or excuse me, techniques. It's honestly a bit intimidating. Let me absorb that knowledge into my professor level XP. What else is here I could absorb? Ah, okay, it's just a lost gift. Anything else in here I'm not aware of? What's this? Another lost gift. Or not gift, lost item. Whatever, the same thing. Uh, who else is here? Two more individuals in the little east room right there. Really? Yep, really. <laughs> Flame in Hubert. You have lost your father. Now more than ever, do I understand how very lucky I am that you were able to save me. Professor, I deeply appreciate what you have done. Thank you. If there is anything at all I can do in return, please tell me, okay? I'll be sure to remember that, Flane. Thank you. What about you, Hubert? What do you got to say? I've never been much for condolences. How about a little logic instead? The knights have spread out around Garrig Mock in search of Geralt's murderers. Thus, the monastery's fighting strength is, for the moment at least, depleted. Perhaps that was the enemy's real objective. We should be prepared for further confrontation. Eh, well, either way, thanks, Hubert. Working alongside with Edelgard as usual. Figuring out the... Uh, the murderer's uh, motives within the monastery. Anyways, I think that should be it for the second floor. In the monastery. Well, Let's go ahead and check out what else is new today. Alright, here we are in the training hall. There is a quest down here. So talk to people first, though. I trained with Gerald just the other day. Why? Why did he have to go and die? It's too awful. He didn't deserve it. <sighs> yeah, he didn't deserve it. I agree with you, pal. Do you have time for a request? The interesting empire's... Imperial Guard is looking for someone to train with. They're said to be in the cream of the crop, but I'm certain you can hold your own. Practice battle mon uh, maneuvers with the interesting Empire's Imperial Guard. Alright, I'll do that off screen then. Thanks for the quest. Who else is down here I can talk to? No? I guess that's it for the training hall. Alright. Let's head out. Oh, another side quest here. Hold on. Who's over here? Uh, let's pick this up first. Okay. Anna! Hey, 
What's going on? I heard Gerald passed away. My deepest condolences. I knew him long before I ever even met you. He was always so much fun to be around. It's such a loss. Ah. <sighs> yep. It is truly. It is very true indeed. May Gerald not be forgotten. Anyways. Hey, how about a favor? Okay, it's the same quest as usual, but she's giving me spirit dust this time. Appreciate it. Did I already collect it? <laughs> Thanks for the reward, Anna. Pleasure doing business with you. So more fishing bait. Let's go check out the amiibo casebo. See what I get today. Okay, some tea leaves. Oh, I got a seal. Excellent. Well, not. It would be nice if it was an advanced seal, but whatever. For a scarf. I wonder who that belongs to. Is that really what I get for today's new open table? I guess I, it is. Alright. Let's go investigate. Rather, what's going on in the dining hall. Professor. What are you two are up to? Professor, please lend us your ears. Ferdinand is saying impossible things. I do not see what is impossible about it. All I said was that if you want to go back to Bridget, you probably can. You are the Empire's guest, so to speak. They cannot afford for something bad to happen to you. There would be a diplomatic incident. Someone close to us has turned up dead. So one could argue that you are not safe here anymore. You were already told. I am learning here, from the Academy. What are you thinking, Professor? Hmm. You don't have to leave, you do not wish it. I am not returning to home until I have grabbed my goal. I will not be listening to the words of Ferdinand. No, look, I did not mean to pressure you. Apologies for the misunderstanding. Yeah, well... Personally, Petra, I still want you around. Anyways. Professor. Professor, I'm so happy to see you. You're finally returning to your old self. To see the light in your eyes again is a gift. It inspires me to carry on as well. As you know, the Knights are searching furiously for any trace of the enemies who escaped. I'll inform you immediately if I learn anything relevant. Why thank you, Edelgard. And yes, I took your words from earlier. Have to move on indeed. Uh, let's go over here. Right. What? I'll return that whoever that belongs to. Let's go down here to the market, see what the gatekeeper has to report. Oh, no. Professor, thank you for all you have done for us. Nothing to report today. <laughs> oh. Ugh. See, even the gatekeeper is down, which is natural, I suppose. Hang in there, pal. We'll get through this. No. Uh, nothing really much going on here to in the marketplace other than picking up these items. Yeah, I uh, will mess around with the marketplace off screen. No, nothing important, or rather, nobody important to talk to at the marketplace other than the gatekeeper. What about in the stable? Is there anybody here? Or anything to pick up, rather? No? There's one. Is this horseshoes? I wonder who that belongs to. Oh, I missed somebody back here. Hold on. What this soldier has to say? The other night, I... I had the honor of sharing a drink with Gerald. <laughs> he was pretty tactless, honestly. He could be blunt at times. But... He always looked like such a proud, happy father, whenever he spoke of you. <laughs> I 
definitely know better not to disappoint Dad, that's for sure. But yeah, good on you, pal. Uh, who else? Did I miss anybody here? It's Cynthia. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Hey, Dorothea. I've sung lyrics lamenting death many times on stage. But when something like this happens in real life, I'm lost. I don't know what to say, but I do know this much. Sir Gerald must have been very proud to have you as his child. Mm. I don't doubt it, Dorothea. Thank you. Alright. Let's go to the graveyard here. Or the little cemetery. Hey, Bernadette is here. Professor, I, um, I brought some flowers for Gerald. Oh, thank you, Bernadetta. It's the least I can do. Sometimes I feel like all I do is run away. Anyway, I'll go lay them out. You go do that, Bernie. I really appreciate it, and I'm pretty sure Dad appreciates it well. I slipped quietly into the vault and rummaged about, looking for anything we might find useful. There is a group of people who want to kill us, after all. What? This is no time for asking permission. I learned long ago that one can ask permission or forgiveness. It is rarely useful to request the former. Still, it appears the knights have already taken everything useful. There were crest-related objects I thought might be worth studying, so... <sighs> there you go again with that stern look. Of course I'll put them back when I'm done, assuming they bear no additional use. You go do that, Linhart. Keep investigating what sus activity that's involved in the of an enemy, certain enemy that Hello. killed my dad in the previous chapter. Uh, anybody here of importance? Other than the student or rather monastery staff NPCs I need to talk to? Oh, hold on. There is actually. Um, Professor? Do you think we'll still be able to graduate? If dangerous things keep happening around here, who even knows? I'm worried. I hope that all the students and professors will be there to celebrate at the graduation ceremony. Uh, I'm sure all will be fine. Hang in there, fellow student. Hang in there. Um, what about over here? I haven't explored this part of the area. Anything to pick up? Or rather, anybody to talk to? Guess not. Okay, well, in that case, let's head to the training grounds really quick. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so we'll see what Caspar has to say today. I'm not even close to being strong enough. I mean, Gerald was so much stronger than me, but even he... That's enough. I can't dwell on the past. There's no way to know what my future holds, but I do know one thing. Whatever happens, I have to make my own way in this world. I have to keep pushing so I can grow even stronger. Well, I'm glad to know. Or rather, excuse me, I said glad and good at the same time. Yeah. Anyways, it's good to know that Gerald motivated you. Caspar, keep this... Keep that passion for fire within you, as always. Alright, uh... House versus House Bowl Tournament today. Ooh. Okay. How about we do that today, hmm? I feel like that should cheer me up, hmm? Uh, yeah, how about we have... Bernie, do this. She could handle this, right? Well, you know what? Just to be safe, let me save the game first before we start this. Okay, let's go ahead and see what happens. Okay, he needs this up. Oh, she's on horseback. He I 
was dead. Okay, it's one down, four more to go. Actually, I'm glad that I did faster to uh, Paladin to get that defense stat. But like I said in the previous video, uh, my intention was to get her to a sniper. Because I wanted her to be a pure archer in this playthrough, at least. Cool if Bernadette gets dead. hit in this tournament. I would like to see that. Oh, yikes. Felix is gonna do some damage on her. Uh. Yeah, heal off. Come on, 5% crit. Go for it, Bernadette. What did I say, huh? <laughs> You're making me proud, Brenda. You're making me proud indeed. Well, I'll claw this next, huh? Makes sense? Get that 1% crit. No? I guess. Okay. I see how it is, BD again. This one crit is enough for the tournament. PG Claw. Oh, congrats, Bernadetta. The winner is Bernadetta. And I got an advanced seal and some cash money. And some XP on my professor level. Alright. We're done here in the training grounds. Let's go ahead and see what else is new. Right, here we are in the cathedral. Let's go see what's up. Pick up this item. Let's bag his seeds. I wonder who that belongs to. Got fables. That as well. Hey, Cyril. Oh, goddess, hear my prayer. Please receive this beloved person. When the cold rain washes the body, when the bird and wolf announce the dawn, receive them into your blue blood, receive them into a twinkling star. That's a morning scripture from the Church of Saros. Lady Rhea taught it to me. I pray that Gerald is happy in the next world. I pray that Dad is happy in the next world indeed, Cyril. Right. Right you are. Okay. Anybody else here? Uh, let's head out to the cathedral and see what else is happening. Okay. Pardon me. Yes, he was a good man indeed. Thank you, fellow NPC. What's this? Ghost stories. Ooh. I wonder who that belongs to. Anybody else to talk to here? Other than, you know, uh, the students from the other houses? Doesn't seem so. Alright then. I guess I'll call it there for today then. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed today's video. May Joe not be forgotten. Or rather, may he really? be missed. He will be missed. You. And as usual, take care. And now we'll see you in the next video on this LP. Sarana PGs. And yeah, I'll see you later.